Well, it's quite the honor for a Long Island High School choir. That's become accustomed to high honors. The Glen Cove Chorale has now been called to sing for the Pope. Take a look. <laughs> Their director Ed Norris's guidance, the teens in the Glen Cove Corral already know what it's like to put on a high profile show. Just two years ago, they sang for the president and first lady in the East Wing of the White House. Well, that was, geez, one of the highlights of, of not only my career, but really my life. Norris has been the Corral's director for 13 years. He never thought his group could top the call from the White House, but they have. Well, we're going next January over to Rome to sing for Pope Francis at the Vatican. Turns out a local man with connections to the Vatican saw the chorale performing on TV 1055 and recommended they do the same for Pope Francis. Choir members couldn't believe it when the Vatican agreed. Never ever thought in a million years I'd be performing for the Pope. It's insane. We're all very excited. My parents are overjoyed. My grandma cries when she thinks about it. She's happy. And I think people just don't believe it. They're really happy for us. Now this great honor to sing for the Pope also comes with a great challenge to raise all the money that's needed to make the trip to Rome. Well, it's actually just about $3,000 a student, so it, it's almost $140,000 to take the whole group over, next, uh, over to Rome next year. Norris says they've already started a GoFundMe page, are setting up a local fundraiser performance, and are looking for corporate sponsors for their week-long performances beginning January 1st. Corral members say they're sure their prayers for financial support will be answered to allow them to reach for the heavens with the new year. <laughs> with heavenly sounds and joining us now is the director of the Glen Cove Corral Ed Norris and welcome to the show again <laughs> thank you thanks for having me here oh it's our pleasure and I guess you and the kids are still pinching yourselves right yeah we're really excited it's it's such an honor to, to head over there and represent uh, not only the United States but certainly New York and Glen Cove at the Vatican well explain a little bit more about how this all came about well, uh, it was last holiday season. We were here at, at uh, your show filming. A, a, right here on this show. Right here on oh, this show. Oh, now we're connected. That's it. You're coming with us. You're coming <laughs> right. with us. You got it. <laughs> um, but we were singing some holiday songs uh, for, for the talk show, and, and a gentleman in Glen Cove saw us, Peter Bahu, uh, who runs Peter's Tours, and he contacted us about coming over uh, with this tour company to sing sing at the Vatican. And then they agreed, because, you know, one person's idea is great, but then the Vatican agreed. <laughs> right. <laughs> that must have blown your mind. You must have thought, oh, hey, nice idea, but are they really going to go right. for it? It's one of those things that, right. yeah, it's great to talk about, but is it going to happen? And, and when we got the call that they wanted us to come out, we were thrilled. Yeah, because we thought the tops was when you get the White House. We made a big deal out of that, because, like, how can you beat that? Right. Well, you know, I, that, that still is, is one of the things that I'll never forget, but certainly this was a good follow-up. No question about that. Uh, now we're going to wonder if, how do you top that, but we'll, we'll leave it there. <laughs> What's the re reaction from folks been in Glencove? Well, it's, it's been great. You know, we've got such a warm, loving community in Glencove, and uh, the reaction has just been fantastic from the school administrators to, you know, colleagues in the school, parents, and just r random community members are so honored that, you know, their choir is going over to represent them. Well, anybody knows going to Europe is an expensive deal, especially if you go for a week, and Rome is one of the most expensive places. So you got a pretty tall order here, especially compared to the amount you had to raise to go to the White House. This dwarfs that. This does, yeah. We're going to have to raise, you know, just over, uh, just under $140,000 to go there. <laughs> That's a big price. How are you going to do it? Well, you know, we, um, we've reached out to some local... Uh, people in the community for donations, corporate sponsorships. We actually have um, a spaghetti dinner that's being hosted in, in a local restaurant in Stango's of Glen Cove uh, on September 8th, so that they're going to donate all the proceeds Sounds like to a us. fundraiser. It's a fundraiser. We'll have a benefit concert. A benefit uh, concert. In September as idea. well in one of our churches in Glen Cove. And, and I understand they have a, on the website of the Glen Cove schools, they have what, a PayPal account? That's true. Our Music yeah. Booster Club has set up a PayPal account where anyone can come and donate on the school district website. Well, you certainly have you raised some money already? We have, you know, we're, we're just under $5,000 really? in the last week, so, you know, <laughs> baby steps, but, but it's 5000 more than we had, so we're very, right. very fortunate. Now, it's summer uh, time break. Uh, do the kids, I mean, what about rehearsals? Are you going to be doing rehearsals? Well, you know, we have a lot of new music to learn, and, and since the performance is in January, we don't have the luxury of having the full year under our belt and all of that repertoire, so we're going to work a little bit during the summer, and certainly when we come back, uh, you know, extensively to get ready for this one. Well, tell us a little bit about the week-long event. I know it starts right with the new year, and right. it's not just for the Pope that you're going to sing. Tell us about the music you'll sing and, and where the venues that you're going to appear at. Well, we have four different performances while we are over there. Um, the first one is on January 3rd. We're performing a solo concert, an hour-long concert, in the Church of San Lorenzo. 
right. which will feature the chorale uh, on their own, singing, you know, some American choral music. We've got some vocal jazz, some spirituals, of course, some of the classics uh, as well. But my goal is to bring American choral music over to Italy, you know, because they're strongly rooted in the Italian traditions now. You're talking so, some historical places here, too. Yeah. And then what for the Pope? Is that like a traditional mass or something? Correct. That's correct. That's our third concert when we're over there. Uh, so we'll be doing strict uh, Latin mass uh, repertoire, so mostly Gregorian chants and things like that. We'll be performing uh, in the Vatican with the Sistine Chapel Choir. Well, we're all so excited for you. And you know, it's become a tradition to have your chorale sing for us during the winter holidays. Can we count on you again this year? We'll be back. Over to Rome? We'll definitely be back. We're so thrilled <laughs> with the support of you guys. We will definitely be back. Well, like I said, we feel connected. It's such an honor. Thank you so Ed much. Ed Norris, director of the Glen Cove Chorale, they're going to be singing for the Pope. Thanks for the music and the mission. Thank you. I appreciate it.